A crystal earphone is like this. You need this to listen to crystal radio because you need a very high impedance or resistance earphone. But it's hard to get here in Hong Kong. I'm going to show you how to make one like this. Or this. This has similar ability as the original crystal earphone and they are the similar size and even more comfortable to wear in the ear because of this soft earbud instead of the hard one. You need to get this piezo electric buzzer. Um, find the one that are closer to the size of a earbud and with a single hole in the middle and it's and close at the back. Something to form the tip of the earbud. I use a tip of a pen here, like this ballpoint pen. Just cut out 2 cm out of the tip to make this one. To make the earbud easier to wear, more comfortable, we need this earbud cushion. They are made from silicon, rubber-like, very soft, so you can plug into the tip. And then when you get the whole thing made up, it will be like this. And finally, we need the lids with a uh, 3.5 millimeter connector at the end. So let's do the work. First, we need to open up this little piece of electric buzzer. Apply a little bit of a pressure here to open it up like this. Be careful not to break it. Once you open it up, see a lot of components here. This is the uh, piezoelectric plate. It's made of some crystal and uh, some ceramic and some copper plates. And then this is the circuit board with a lot of uh, surface mounted equipment. This is a coil and a lot of uh, surface mounted component like the resistor, transistor. So we need to take out all these parts and leave just the bare circuit board and this plate. To do that, we need a solder iron. We need to do a little bit more. So if you can see, um, there are three wires linking from the piezoelectric buzzer to the circuit board. The topmost wire, this one, connects to the base of this buzzer. And then the second and the third one connect to the right part. One here, one here. So we need to connect these two lines together so to make the most sound. So to do that, we just need to take out one of them and connect it to the other. Before you solder in the lid, you need to test it to make sure uh, one of the pins connects to the tip. The other pin connects to the ground here, which is the third one from the tip, not this one. This one is for microphone, so we need to connect to here and here. You can use a multimeter to do the test. So after testing, I find these two wires there, so I can just hook it up. We can do some tests. We can use a multimeter like this one and connect, switch to uh, the one on my connection and, and connect it to make some noise. Hear that? Little click. So once you've finished testing, it will be gone. You have to switch the polarity and test again. So that's it. Now we can seal it up. And just to make sure the, the lid doesn't get out, we can make a small tiny knot. We got a crystal radio earphone. Crystal radio earphone. The same size as the ones we can buy from the market. And the quality is the same. 
because they are all made from the same piece of electric muscle. And then you can see it again. <laughs> 